Rascallion, you just played 30 minutes of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, a video game that got a 10 out of 10 on the website, and also, I beat the first 17 levels in an hour. Wow, that's impressive. What'd you think? Uh, I had a hard time with it, I'll admit. But I'm not very much of a traditional isometric gamer. I mean, the first video game I played really was Mass Effect. So it shows you that I wasn't, I never really did any of the old school stuff, but particularly anything in the Mario universe. So, I think for new age gamers, it has a little bit of a learning curve, but the idea wise, it was pretty good. I mean, the fact that you're solving puzzles in a 3D environment and you have to move things and interact with stuff. That adds fun to it if you're not frustrated. What I like about Captain Toad is all the levels are very tightly designed. They're very neat. Like, there's no wasted space yeah. in any of the levels. You're in a very small level with specific stuff to do. And if you pour over the entire level, you basically see everything you need to see. Yeah. You know, you get you fulfill the challenge of on every level you have to find those three diamonds. And then there's also an additional challenge, and then even after that, you play the little uh, hide-and-seek game with Pixel Toad. Yeah, you like that, right? that was cute. I like that it gives you, like, a little bit more to do with every single level. Uh, this game has, like, three episodes, so it starts like that, and that's the easy levels for it. The game goes for the ending and uh, gives you the credits after 17 levels, and then goes, haha, just kidding. That was, that was the easy stuff. You go, you start episode two, and there's more levels, and you switch and play as Toadette, and oh. Captain Toad gets kidnapped by the bird. Oh, Spoilers that's cute. for Captain Toad. And then you have to go rescue him that time until you get to episode three, which then you both get lost. I, I don't know. It, the, the plot's not important. <laughs> it's This is a game that, from pure gameplay, is just... I don't know. It's the kind of game that only Nintendo can do. Yeah. They. It's a really focused, neat experience. It actually features a two-player where someone can uh, shoot turnips at the enemies while you walk around as Toad. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. But it, it changes around a little bit. I, I'm, I've been having a hard time trying to... You know, do a video about this game, because I played it, record my footage, and... I don't know what to say about it, because I don't know what to complain about. I gave it a 10 on the website, as I said, and... I couldn't find any shortcomings, but maybe you'd be able to find something I could criticize it for? Um... The... the parts of the 3D element were a little frustrating. The fact that you had to be constantly readjusting your focus and reach and changing what angle you're looking at. I uh, you really and things did. can disappear on you. You can run off the edge without realizing that you've reached the edge. Little rainbow road for that. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. I actually do think that that's a factor to it. Mm. Um, on the actual outer edges of the world, you can't fall off, oh, even okay. though it's clear. Because there's an invisible wall for that, but you can't fall off ledges onto yeah. another part of the area, yeah. the gameplay area. And, mm, I, I mean, I could say that, yeah, but that is a bit of a flaw in that I did have to find myself having to move the camera around a lot because it has this isometric design, but it also doesn't control like it. Yeah, it's it's made it with a lot of diagonals, even though it would be better if you were moving straight up, down, left, right, instead of all these uh corners and diagonal movements that yeah. are imprecise. But it also adds a bit of novelty to the game. I mean, it's a traditional concept, but it's been innovated in, like you said, a way only Nintendo could really do it. Yeah, I mean, this was a game that started off as a mini game for Super Mario World, 3D Super Mario World, for uh, Wii U. Oh, and okay. then it just moved on to this own game of its own. So that explains why it has the touchscreen element if it was originally on the Wii U then. Yeah, well, it was, it was just a part of a game, and then it got its own release. Yeah. And then this is actually a re-release of the Wii U game. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they do that a lot with the re-releases, but they've all been good because so many people missed out on the Wii U when the Switch is the perfect chance to play it. 
Plus, the portability does make it a lot of fun. Would you, could you imagine, like, taking this game with you with the short levels and playing it places while you're waiting for something? Like, yeah. it's so... You can just pop the game on, you just press on, and get start playing right away. There's no startup process on the yeah. Switch Real. It's just hit power and you go. The, the Switch the Switch is very much it's in the realm of the casual game. Like it would be the port it has the portability of like a mobile phone, but it also has the traditional games on it. So you could play Skyrim on a tradition on a regular console, but you can also play it on a Switch, which gives it that casual element too. And games like this are very much modeled like those casual phone games and stuff. I'd say so, especially because, you know, with the three things kind of matches the three stars you would get in a lot yeah. of games, like pocketing back to stuff like Angry Birds, but... Yeah. <laughs> so if you're willing to just get a game that it's reduced price, it's only thirty nine ninety nine hit full price, and Switch games actually go on sale, surprisingly. For the longest time, Switch games and both Nintendo games in general don't go on yeah. sale, but now they do. Uh, keep your eye out for it if you want small, bite-sized uh, gameplay experiences, and check it out then. Otherwise, thanks for listening to Hard Mode Gamers. Talk to you soon. Bye. 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 Go, and go, and go, and go, let me see you go, and go, and go. And go, green light me go. And go, and go, and go, let me see you go. And go, and go, and go, green light me. I'm down for your enjoyment. I'll be here all night. We can heat it up if you want. Just turn down the lights. Get the cameras flashing. 